Hey guys, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations and today I want to show everyone how a different base color can affect your glitter color, especially if it's a translucent or semi-translucent glitter. And as you see here on these two cups, they are two different colors, but I actually used the same exact glitter on these cups. I just started with two different base colors. I've got a pink base and a black base and I went ahead and Prep these cups, spray painted one with a pink base and the other with a black base. And once the spray paint was completely dry, I stuck them on my turner and applied the glitter via the epoxy method. So to apply glitter with the epoxy method, you are going to take a very thin layer of epoxy and spread it on your cup, getting good coverage, making sure that you don't miss any spots. And I'm just, I'm trying to work both cups at the same time since, you know, I'm showing you the same glitter on both of them. So once I get a good coverage over the entire cup, I take one finger and I start at the bottom and I push my way up the cup as the cup spins around. And you'll see me do this to both cups here. And that just helps smooth the epoxy out, make sure I didn't miss any little areas. And then once I get done smoothing it, I take my finger and I run it along the bottom, just make sure I don't have any excess epoxy trying to build up down there and then I take my blowtorch make a quick pass around my cups and pop any little micro bubbles and making sure that the epoxy lays super smooth because you want the epoxy to be really nice and smooth underneath the glitter or else it could show lines in your glitter The color that I'm using here is called Pinkie Pie. It is a really beautiful pink glitter from BJ's Glitter. And I'm just going to sprinkle it onto the cup, getting good coverage with the glitter all over the cup. I'm starting with the pink one here. And as you can see, it is just showcasing how beautiful this pink is. And the pink base is really enhancing the pink glitter here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glitter back into the shaker and then I'm going to get started on the black based cup. And as you can see, as the glitter hits this cup, it completely changes color, which is so super cool. I love it. It actually turns to like a purple color, which is crazy because this is a super bright, vibrant pink. So that is basically, I mean, that shows you how much of a difference it makes when choosing the base glitter or the base color for your cup. So I'm just going to take my scissors here and knock on the arm of the turner attachment and that helps knock off any excess glitter that's trying to hang out. And then I'm going to put another coat of glitter over both of these cups. As you can see on this um, black based cup, the glitter is really soaking up the epoxy. So I wanted to go ahead and just make sure I had really good coverage with the glitter and put another coat on there. So as you can see, as I put more glitter on here, it really helps hide those wet looking spots. And that's one thing that you can do. If you've put a little bit too much epoxy on a cup when you're putting the glitter on via the epoxy method, just sprinkle some more glitter on there and it will help to soak up that excess epoxy. And right now the cup is still looking a little bit splotchy, but when we put it under epoxy, that will really change quite a bit. So. Like I said, it's still a little splotchy looking, so I'm going to dust off any little excess glitter that I have hanging out, and after that, I am going to epoxy it. So I let these spin for about five or six hours. So the epoxy underneath was very dry, and it wasn't completely dry, but it was dry enough to put another coat of epoxy over it. So we are going to go ahead and put a coat of epoxy on it and it will really change the look of this black based cup when we put epoxy on it. Now 
Now I have mixed up 40 milliliters of Tumblr Epoxy Epoxy. Tumblr Epoxy Epoxy is my favorite epoxy that I use on pretty much everything. And if you haven't heard, Tumblr Epoxy is coming out with a Swift Epoxy soon. That is a fast drying epoxy. So keep an eye out for that. Mid-May is when it is ex expected to release. But look at the color change here when I put the epoxy over this glitter on the black based cup. It literally makes it purple. That is so incredibly cool to me and I love how the color change literally just happens right in front of your eyes. And then this pink cup, putting it under epoxy, it just, it almost makes it glow. It is such a beautiful, bright, vibrant pink. This, if you don't have this Pinkie Pie glitter from BJ's Glitter, you are missing out. This glitter is absolutely stunning. And I do want to note that both of these cups are 20 ounce Maker's Flow cups, and I actually have a link for them down in the description box below. It's easier to, for you to find them that way. But I wanted to kind of give a little tip to anyone who has a hard time trying to figure out how much epoxy they need to use whenever they're putting epoxy on their cups. So basically, if I'm putting epoxy on a 20 ounce tumbler, then I use 20 milliliters of epoxy. If I'm putting it on a 30 ounce cup, I use 30 ounces of epoxy and so forth. So I basically take ounces, however many ounces my cup, tumbler, whatever is, I use that in milliliters on my project. So here you see it. These cups are epoxied and look at how cool that color changes between the two. The purple cup isn't perfect. I could probably should have used a little less glitter than I did, but it's, I made it for an example for y'all. So. Look at the difference here. That is because one cup was black when we got started. The base of it was black, the other one was pink, and it just makes the color change so much. And I want to say a huge thank you to all my Patreon members, my KCC Diamonds. Y'all are amazing, and thank you so much for your support. If you haven't checked out my Patreon, it's down in the description box below. Also, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Y'all take care. Bye.